Hi there, my name's Ed and I am a male lifestyle blogger from the UK. I am recording this video as I am having a hair transplant at the Harley Street Hair Clinic next week. It's now Saturday and I've taken a short trip over to Copenhagen for a few days um, just because after the surgery there's going to be quite a bit of downtime where I'm really going to have to focus solely on the recovery um, and the aftercare which are absolutely crucial um, in any type of surgery like this. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, so I run a lifestyle blog called The Descending Man um, which is all about all things kind of fashion, grooming, travel, fitness um, and kind of anything else that would appeal to the modern man and to gents around the age of kind of 25 to 40 plus. Um, one obviously subject which kind of comes up every now and then is hair transplants um, and it can be very hard to kind of get an impartial review of a hair transplant because you go to a lot of these uh, Harley, Harley Street Clinic's websites and they're kind of very glossy and they use stock photos, they're all very beautiful um, but I don't think you ever really kind of get kind of that first hand kind of Amazon TripAdvisor review um, so I'm filming basically everything kind of now, during the procedure and after, just so you can see what it's actually like to have a hair transplant um, from kind of first-hand blogger's perspective. I'm actually 31 years old, um, so I am kind of the age where my hair is thinning, in particular at the front, as you may be able to see here, and on this side as well. But it's a lovely tuft here, um, but yeah, behind there and... Uh, around the edges there's not really that much going on um, whereas the back of my head which they will be taking donor hair from there's a lot going on apparently um, when Harley Street Hair Clinic were looking under the microscope I had roughly around 7,000 hairs there um, and not as many at the front so in terms of donor hair and strength they have these amazing telescopes that they look down um, you know I'm actually in a very good position in terms of having good quality donor hair to fill the kind of hair that's not really there. Um, so yes, as I said, I'm in Copenhagen for a few days because yes, the first kind of five to 10 to 14 days um, are all about kind of spraying saline solution, kind of eating the right diet, um, washing your hair properly twice a day. So actually you're kind of at home most of the time where you can kind of facilitate that. Um, so yes, I'm going in Monday and Tuesday. It's gonna be five hours per day. Um, and we are going to be filming, when I say we, I mean myself and the Harley Street Hair Clinic are going to be filming the a bit of the procedure kind of in between. So I'll be chatting again to the camera uh, beforehand and kind of chewing uh, and after. And then I'm going to be kind of recording a diary, uh, if you like, every every couple of days, um, just so you can see kind of how the progress is going. I'm actually getting pretty nervous. Um, I'm not too sure why. Um, I think it might be something to do with wanting this for so long. Um, I've wanted it for four to five years um, since my hair started thinning. Um, so I think it's just nerves about, it, you know, the results being as I want and just not getting too excited about something that may not happen. Um, so yeah, um, that's kind of where the nerves are coming from. Um, but it's kind of that nervous excitement where I'm excited to go in and have the procedure and get it done and start doing the aftercare um, but yeah I think because I've never had it done or kind of never know known anyone who's had it done um, it's kind of that's maybe making me a little bit nervous um, but yeah I'm really excited to see the results.